As a Canadian company, it is natural that we choose to make our products with wood from trees that grew in the northernmost forests of the U.S. and Canada. These trees grow slower because of our longer winters. Their wood is harder and has increased stability over wood from faster growing trees from warmer climates. So this translates into reduced gapping, warping and cracking once it is processed into flooring. We make sure that all of the lumber we process was grown in well-managed forests and as an FSC certified wood producer, we take all the necessary steps to ensure that our valuable lumber resources will last forever. We buy green, wet lumber from sawmills, which we are continuously rating for quality. We endeavor to buy from mills located as close as possible to our facility in order to reduce our transport costs and limit our environmental impact. All the lumber that arrives in our facility is inspected and rated on what is called a grading chain. It is then placed on sticks so it may be properly dried. The hardwood is then stacked in our collection yard where the spacing of the sticks allows for better airflow and begins the drying process. As soon as a kiln is emptied and made available, the green lumber is loaded into it. We operate five highly energy efficient kilns that can each dry 80,000 board feet of lumber at a time. We never rush our drying schedules. Painstaking care is involved. Daily testing goes into making sure all our lumber is reduced and conditioned to 7% moisture content before it is finally removed and ready to be transformed into flooring. The amount of time necessary to properly dry lumber varies from one species to another. For instance, maple can take as little as 14 days, while red oak may take up to 38 days. As soon as the lumber is removed from our kilns, it is moved into our mill and goes to the ripping line. Here, each board of random width is electronically scanned and it is fed into our optimizing straight line ripsaw. This remarkable piece of equipment, with its moving series of saw blades, decides how to best cut each board to optimize its worth and minimize waste. It performs two very important operations simultaneously. First, any side bend or bow in the board will be sawn off, making it straight because we do not tolerate crooked boards. Secondly, it chooses between several widths, ranging from 2.55 inches up to 6.55 inches with each width having an assigned value based on anticipated market price and demand, and then rips the board along its length so as to yield the greatest value. As the different rips travel down to the sorting table, a reading of their moisture content is taken at two foot intervals along their length. If any one of these pieces varies up or down by more than 1% from the desired 7% moisture content, it is identified and put aside to be reconditioned in our kilns later. This precaution is extremely important to avoid any variation in width in the finished product. All the rips are then sorted by width in preparation for milling. The next step in our process is to plane or dress each board down on both the top and bottom to an overall thickness just slightly over that of our finished product. This allows us to properly study each board with our high-tech scanning equipment and determine how it can best be utilized. At great speed, each board passes through a highly evolved scanning device that utilizes X-ray, infrared, and optical readers to determine how each piece should be worked. Decisions are made in split seconds, which decide where to cut out defects, which portion of which face of the board will present the best grade of flooring, whether and where the board should be chopped and flipped, and or should a portion of the board be rotated 180 degrees. The system prints the grade on each piece it cuts, eliminating the risk of human error in grading. It also maintains a standard minimum average length of board for every grade being produced, thereby ensuring consistency of quality. This system is truly the very latest technology available in our industry today. The series of stations which execute the decisions made all follow the scanner, and are controlled and synchronized by the system. A molder is the heart of any hardwood flooring plant, so we have spared no expense in this regard. Our German-made and engineered molder is the most precise piece of equipment of its kind available on the market today. Because of the way we already plane down our wood before the scanner, there remains very little left to be removed at the molder, so it doesn't have to work as hard 
and isn't subjected to the same amount of stress and pressure than it would be if it were milling thicker wood, like most competitors do. This enables us to be even more precise, delivering the absolute least amount of milling variation and a perfect fit every time. This increased precision puts us ahead of almost all our competition, allowing us to produce flooring with a very tiny, aesthetically pleasing micro bevel. From the molder, the floorboards feed over to our end matcher, where with the same precision we mill the tongues, grooves and bevels on the ends of every board. From the end matcher, the flooring runs along conveyors to a series of bundling stations, where our personnel places each piece of wood into its respective bundle by grade. While doing so, they perform a final inspection for cracks or chips that may have occurred as the wood went through the milling process. Also, for the lower grades at this workstation, they are required to patch small knots with putty in preparation for the finishing process. At the end of each day, the flooring production is transferred over to the warehouse at our finishing plant, where it is ready for the pre-finishing process.